So I'm going to show you guys how to design the actual skin that you could then send to the printer or whatever service you're using to print out the skin that you want for your controller. I'll show you guys how to do that in Photoshop and we're gonna be using 12 inch skins, which is a really dope company that I've used plenty of times. So come check it out. All right, so we are at the website 12inchskins.com. So this is a website that I've used plenty of years now. They do really good work. As you can see, they do a variety of things like vinyl, custom vinyls, custom controller skins, they do the mixers, they do almost anything. So really good quality. So for now, let's go with one of the popular controllers, which is Pioneer Skins. And controllers, and we'll do the SRT. So they do offer pre-built templates such as full color or metallic silver and so on. But we'll, what the one we want today is a custom because this is the one we're going to pimp out. So as you can see here in the description, they have the Photoshop template for you to download. So click on that. Once it downloads, open that up. You will need Photoshop for this. So make sure you're subscribed or whatever you have. So I'll open that up. All right, so here we are. This is the template. So they do include instructions. So anytime you do print anything, you do want to make sure you are doing it in CMYK. So right here, in Photoshop, as you can see, it tells you you're in the CMYK color space. So you are good. It's also telling you to use these values for black. This is just what they prefer. So, you know, if you happen to choose a different black, they might tell you to change it or not. Just depends on how the graphics are created. Let's see what else. Text stroke layer should be used when busy graphics make text hard to read. Delete otherwise. Okay, yeah. So any text that might be hard to look at, if they're too small or whatnot, it's telling you to add a stroke. I try to stay away from strokes because they just make everything look kind of tacky. They have to be tastefully done to do to use a stroke. So uh, save as JPEG, quality between 8 and 10, 300. I'll show you guys in a bit how to do that. Hide instructions, guide and hold layers when design is finished. So this is basically just telling you that we will have to hide all the all the template, like the green and the red uh, die cut template and all of this stuff, just so that that does not print when they put it in there, because that's not going to be their fault. It's going to be your fault if you send them a file like that. And no logos or text beyond red line. Okay, so that just means that anything beyond this red line will be cut. So this is what the machine cuts when they when they print it. They have to cut it, die cut it. Anything beyond these lines, the red lines are gonna be cut. So it's just good just to keep everything inside at least a quarter inch or so, just to be safe. But when you have designs that bleed out, it's fine if they bleed out to more of the extent. So keep that in mind. No RGB, no RGB, no RGB. <laughs> it's basically saying make sure you're designing in CMYK because RGB is a different color space than CMYK. RGB is a different variety of colors. Basically, just make sure you're designing in CMYK. Uh, okay, so name file. So the naming convention they want is name, you know, your name, model, the model of the, of the unit or whatnot. And this is an example. And this is another example of what black looks like when in the settings. 
and that's simple you just double click in the color palette and then right here you have your cmyk values so zero 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 and k which stands for black is 100 percent okay so this is just saying copyright this is their own template the logo is generally placed where it is found on the custom tempest. You are welcome to move anywhere on the template or change any color. Okay, so it's telling you that they do require the 12 inch skins to be on the template because that's their branding and that's their policy. So you won't be able to delete their logo. It will have to be on there somehow. You could change the color or do whatever you want, but it has to be on there. So this is these are the layers once you open it. You want to hide that one because we don't need that one no more. Then you got your guides, which is the red dotted lines and all that, just to kind of give you an example of where things are being cut. Then you got your holes. That's kind of straightforward, right? Anything that's green is basically going to be cut as well. And that's where all your knobs and sliders go, your faders, whatever. So, and then you got your text. This one. This one stays there because you definitely want to print text unless you want, unless you want like a blank, a blank design. I mean, a design without not knowing what you're moving, which you can do, but then I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> so I will leave text on. So I'll give you an idea. Capsules. That's kind of like the shading of the of the of the controller and mask okay mask is just giving you an idea of where the layout is at so as you can see this is the bottom of the or the the bottom side of the of the pioneer where the headphones are at so that's the mask and this is the top right here if you if you disable it you can see it's giving you an idea of where things are at. So when you design, you want to have, uh, let's see. Yeah, you could have the holes on. Yeah, you could have everything on. So I would make a folder and then call this design. Then I'll make another folder called template. Then I would put everything that's going to be on top that'll help us with the template i'll move the text the holes and the guides into the template see see if i turn that off we have just this which is the mask and the white background and oh and the capsules all right uh, so now we're going to go under design and this is when you start doing your design so it's telling you that you could put your graphics here on the white it's all right we'll just put them in our design folder because eventually when we send a jpeg it's going to be flattened so you don't it doesn't necessarily have to be in the white it's just telling you that you could start designing here throwing things on here or whatever but just to work in a non-destructive way i'm gonna put them in the design folder i made so okay so to start let's see i might want to disable a few of these things because it gets really distracting so i'll remove the holes and the guides so now i just have the text and the mask so let's say for example you want the platter here to be i don't know let's say green i'm gonna draw a, a, a green Green circle. Make this green. Make it green, okay. Uh, let's get rid of the stroke. All right, so th there you go. And to get an idea of what that would look like once it's all cut out, you want to activate the guides. So as you can see, the red would be basically this 
this red circle right here is going to be what's 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 cut out this would be this would not show because this is where the lcd screen is at and then beyond this is also not going to show because this is where you this is the jog wheel so no graphics can go on there so let's say i want to add text dj live this ugly ass font changes font something let's go all the English yep that's me right there <laughs> so DJ live got text so basically think of this of any anything you want to do it's going to be on there you know you got the green you got the font you got logos whatnot make and make sure this is under your design okay so design folder i'm going to copy this put it on the other side just so you can see just have some continuity in here all right so that's green and then let's say i want the background of this controller to be i don't know gray i know it's not a really nice representation of a design but i just really want to make this kind of quick and give you guys an idea of how these are done so i'm going to draw a rectangle and color this gray let's do that and just for just for giggles just put a crazy brush right here a little grunginess <laughs> yeah okay keep in mind that if it's showing up over here that means that's going to print too so a way that i would hide that is i would use this marquee tool I'll, I'll draw another rectangle outside of the red lines and then I'll mask it yeah there you go that way it's only in this area because this is the only area I want it to be and it looks like I need to move my gray layer down so this shows okay all right and let's see I'll make this one black why not <laughs> the bottom part so i'm just gonna you know what no let's do a different look let's do green just to have a little of a little something matching here sample that green then i'm gonna do green over here at the top boom look at that badass design who wouldn't want to pay for that <laughs> so that's basically it really so once you're done with your design you're going to disable everything except the text so disable the guides leave before and also before you save it you want to kind of turn everything on and, and take a last look to make sure that nothing's gonna be cut off that you don't want to be cut off. Okay, so now I see what the stroke, text stroke was. Basically a stroke on the text. You could put it on or off depending on what you think looks best. For example, I'm going to color this text white, just to give you an example of something else that I wanna try. So overlay white and now it has a kind of a different look and this is the way it's going to print you know i don't want the stroke because it looks crazy so yeah i mean i could print something like this and i'll like it so let's say i like this i like the vibe so we're gonna we're gonna disable holes template and the guides uh, let's see what about uh, yeah we'll leave the capsule there and the text will be there and the capsule layer will be there. 
and we will also disable the mask you don't need the mask once you're done like they said save it as a jpeg so so file save as and then jpeg and then they said name and then model srt i believe 1000 jpeg save i think they said 10 to 12 or something like that for the quality i'll leave it at 12 that's maximum baseline is fine hit okay and that's basically it once you receive this template it's going to be all die cut with all the holes taken out and everything so all you have to do really is take all the knobs out and place it over the the controller it'll come with instructions so it'll tell you how to do it i would advise not to try and put copyrighted logos because they might not print it um just try to be original try to go with your brand you know your brand colors your own logo anything that's your your brand try to use that it'll it'll be even better because it'll be personalized to who you are and what your brand represents uh, i hope that was useful uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions if you run into any issues or anything that i might have not explained let me know and i'll try to answer as quick as possible all right so once your design is done you go back to the website and go to your upload graphic choose file and then hit add to cart there you go you'll be able to proceed to check out and if they have any issues they will get back to you but pretty sure if you follow the directions and the temp and the tutorial you shouldn't run into any issues so yeah that's it all right guys thank you for watching this video i hope it was educational and valuable to you i've been a designer for more than 10 years so this is so this comes kind of easy to me but i know there's a lot of designers that want to design their own skins and may not even know how to get on it so this is why i did this video i want to educate my fellow djs and help them out so make sure to check out 12 inch skins for all your uh, controller needs or any kind of skins or customization needs they're a pretty dope ass company they do vinyls they do all kinds of stuff by the way this is not a paid review or paid sponsorship this is just my opinion this is my way of helping you guys level up as far as your visuals and your presentation and your branding so i hope this was helpful don't forget to follow me on ig at dj live 408 and stay tuned for more videos let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see something different or something you might have issues with or any questions or whatnot all right thank you guys Later.